Is this complete? No, I missed oh. five. I was like, fuck, you got Snow Brothers in here. <laughs> oh my god, that's a Snow Bros. What up, YouTube? Nate here from Thrift Dweller, and today. I realized when I'm editing this video, actually, I don't have a proper intro for this vlog. Today was a really awesome day. We got invited to a friend of the show. Uh, his name is Matthew. He's been following us for quite a while now, actually. And he was trying to get us to go out to his sweet uh, retro video game den, his game room, his man cave, what have you. Uh, problem is, it's really far away. We took a trip for the day. Uh, we were also graced by the presence of uh, Eli. Another friend of the show, we checked out his game room, check his, a link to his video in the description below. He has a complete Nintendo Power Collection. It's like the shadiest thing we're doing right now. Is it? <laughs> yeah. I just like we're all in a trunk with our phones looking at stuff. <laughs> what are those Sega Genesis games? Uh, there's only one good one, Star just uh, Gunstar Heroes. Oh wow. Ooh, which yeah. I have. And then uh, Jam. Oh uh, nice. So at this point of the video, we're just kind of getting ready to go on our road trip. I kind of kept the man dialogue in this vlog because I think it really does kind of capture the flavor of the day. Just a bunch of retro heads conversing, enjoying each other's company. You know what I mean? From from when you were in high school oh, to now. Oh, it's way, like it's, school, I feel, is more happier now than when we were happier. You know that episode of The Simpsons where Homer thinks he's very intellectual when he's speaking? But really, he's just like a really drunk slob. And I was like, you know how you guys are late for class? Back in my day, you had to be on time for everything, and everything had to be pre-planned. Like, you, if you Back in my friend, day. Like, <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't meet you here, you gotta I mean, be there. there. Yeah, far from the city. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. like, this is, this took me just as long to drive. Your destination will be on the right. Yeah. So when we reach Matthew's, I guess, hometown, it's smaller than Winnipeg, where we're situated at, uh, there was like a bunch of garage deals going on that day so before we went to his house and checked out his game room we checked out a multi-family garage sale first video game find of the day <laughs> no. i think we should rebrand the the channel lester i hear retro liberty is not taken anymore the oh, name <laughs> All the content's gone too. Is it? Yeah, he deleted all. Oh really? The I think we should be a uh, Retro he Pixel Squad thing, eh? Canada. Ow! This tree poked me. Ow! Right in my boob. Oh, all right. Look at that. Revenge of the Pharaohs. GI Joe Nine. Todd McFarlane's comic book. Facts and illusions. Twenty-five cents. Why not? By that, I'm gonna buy GI Joe. Oh, look at Screw this. it. Cloak and Dagger? Like Marvels? <laughs> no. Nope. Is that Marvels? It's not. <laughs> What'd you find there, Eli? Say, uh, oh, nice. Is that the mo movie rental place? They cut up the, uh, they cut up the original oh, sleeve. No. Screen story. Screen, screen story and screenplay by Tom Holland. Not that Tom Holland. <laughs> oh, wow. There's like so many references here. <laughs> but that's, hey, that's, it's Marvel. Did you hear about the theory that Tom Holland is Stanley reincarnated? Yeah. What? They look exactly the same. Some Eli's joining us today. I want that painting right there. It's a pretty sweet ass painting. Oh man, these are one of those paintings that like the light goes through it. Dude, that'd be perfect for my oh. retro basement. Oh, that would be sweet. Or a horse painting. Look at Lester and Nate on the field. <laughs> That's on a tape, bro. <laughs> That's pretty I wonder which one's on. That was USC like 50, I think. What's guys down at? Oh, I'm good, no. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Just a feeling. Yeah, oh, that's your favorite, bro. <laughs> After the garage sale, we went to Matthew's sweet, sweet gaming heaven. Found used, I guess. Everything. Yeah. It, Whoa! Ooh, look at yeah, this place. Uh, Killer. It's like I have a hard. Yeah. Place. We found the shelves. Uh, yeah. They get garage sale. And they yeah, just sun like that'd be good for handhelds. Wow. Yeah, look at that. Is this complete? Cool. No, I'm missing no? five. Really? Missing yeah. Five. You can five? see where the empty spots are. <laughs> what? And they're all the big hitters because I've just never found them like lying around at garage. Uh, houses. which five? Uh, Little Samson, yeah. Flintstones two, Bobble Bobble two, Bonks, and Panic Restaurant. 
So the big five. Like, the, are you, <laughs> you want to get those? Like, are you looking? I for gave them? up on them. Oh, yeah. um, like I was collecting these back like in the early two thousands when like the flea markets had them for like you could probably remember when they were like a dollar or yeah. two for games and mm-hmm. stuff and you'd find them at garage sales and big. Oh, boxes. bro! I used to put them back. That yeah, was I know. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> so I just started going for a complete set, but then I kept ignoring like the little Samsons and they like, yeah, I'll just get those at the end or something, Maybe. and then their prices skyrocketed <laughs> Jeez, and I'm like. Yeah. Okay, Lester. Of, like, trying to figure yeah, out yeah. What is your reaction to <laughs> Macaulay <this>? Culkin? <laughs> really? This is not, no, like how neat it is? It's not yeah. usually this neat, but I tried to keep it. No, bro, and like, it's like, you can, it's very comfortable. This is, yeah. I can stay here all day in this game. Yeah, yeah. This is if Jason, you know how Jason is his little nook or whatever? Yeah. Someone had him like a GG. This is like, like, old, like five one. times more. Like, like, if you had more space. Yeah, yeah, like, it's nuts. Yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, those shelves are beautiful. They're a little tight, like if you're trying to get a game out, they're like, like, oh, like they just, yeah, yeah. Are they alphabetical right now? It looks really good. <laughs> Are there? Yeah, the Ian's uh, in heaven if they're alphabetical. I've they're organized alphabetical. his shelves, <laughs> and years. then he just goes and like. <laughs> <laughs> no, they fell over once. I had to put them back on the shelf. You think I can put them back out? At one point, I had. Uh, I was going for like a complete, like all unlicensed, all PAL titles, and uh, I, I, I had probably thirty PAL titles and some pretty rare ones. And then uh, this guy named uh, Jack, who's, he's kind of he's going for a complete set too. He lives in Brandon, and um, he came out here and he brought me. Wacky Races, Die Hard, Wayne's World, and Kid Clown, and he j- I traded like all my pal titles for those four like big hitter ones. Oh, yeah. so just because I was never, I was never oh. gonna pay full price for those ones. So yeah. okay, so which one here is your most expensive game value uh, wise? I don't know. The, honestly, I don't know if the values have changed a lot. So I, I don't keep up with this. Probably Power Blade. Oh, Power Blade. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, Power. Is that fun? <laughs> I got it in the group actually. Uh, I like Power Blade One better. To be honest with you. I love Power Blade One. That's yeah. what I say. I've never I played like Power better. Blade Two, even though I have it on emulator. Yeah, here's the. This is the uh, we've been forever just on Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, where's the Super Nintendo? No Super Nintendo. I have a little bit there, like maybe. Oh, right beside the no, 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 Matt, you don't mind if I take a picture? Go ahead. For my do whatever brother. you want. Yeah. And can yeah, you put it on our uh, social media? Yeah. These this are not advertised. So this is fine. Sorry. Because I don't have that many. Like, honestly, it's only games I like, like Castlevania. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Uh, RPG, so Secret of Mana. Yeah. I think I have Chrono Trigger, Contra 3. Yeah. It's just titles I like. Like, there's nothing in here that I won't like. That's my favorite Super Nintendo game. I think it's the yeah, best RPG so ever you made. You have Final Fantasy 2 in there? Yep. Okay, so you were incorrect when you said it's the best <laughs> RPG ever made. So I noticed, like, with the PS1 stuff, is that all you have? That's or, it. Yeah, hey, I don't collect PS1. You, you don't care for it. I literally, I had about 100 PS2 games, and my son wanted an Xbox One. Oh, wow. So we, uh, yeah. I, PNP won't trade for consoles, but I oh, traded no. for, uh, I got him some games, and I got him the live membership, oh, and okay. uh, what else did he get? A controller. Nice. So, I mean, it looks like Wii as well has so. been... Yeah, no kidding. Are you going for a complete going for Wii complete? Complete? That I am yeah. going for a complete. Oh, good. I'm, um, nice. about Please send your list to us. We and like when you help. complete it, yeah, are you going to sell it? Yeah, I'm about 100... 140 there's a, shy there's a lot yeah. 140 will that all who fit the, on this shelf it'll here? fit almost perfectly right to the bottom nice who's the guy who hmm? was talking to Metal Jesus who had the complete week left oh uh, what's his name Casey Casey, Casey yeah, the, yeah. yeah at hard actually like the hard stuff to find like cheap is like obviously like the collector stuff yeah and I was gonna ask you um, too what's your rarest Wii game yeah. well they're right there most of them just these ones um, on the... those would probably be the most but they keep shifting like when I first started collecting three or four years ago, this one was worth like two hundred bucks. Seeing. Now it's worth like twenty. I have a double in there yeah. if you guys want it. Like, yeah. look, I got a double there, yeah. and it's like they're worthless. So like, yeah. But four hundred bucks right there, man. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I found one at the uh, Pawn Traders for like five bucks, mm-hmm. and I sold it for one hundred and fifty on eBay like a day oh, later. Oh, nice. But wow. this was like two years ago. Now I can't, I can't give them away. Like it's really, um, yeah. Apparently, this company Maximum they made like all these crappy racing games, yeah. and. Um, I think in Canada they're more common because I find in the states they never find them, but here yeah, I found like four or five of each one. Okay, yeah. I gotta, anything no. that says maximum, no. these ones are apparently rare, but they're not like listed in the complete sets because they're double packs. Mm-hmm. Like it's not a unique game; it's just two games it's in one. Games in one yeah. But uh, these are actually there's three of them. This is the, the easiest to find of the three. Nice. Um, but um, those are apparently the more. And Casey didn't have these apparently, according to the Nintendo Twizzer guy. Mm. Um, at least yeah, from you see, what I like, from him. Maybe he has them now. The pictures when he moved into his new place, yeah. like a museum. Well, he has that uh, console display, like those display yeah. lights. Those are yeah. crazy. He's got like 30 He's of doing something on the side that I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah. He, he <laughs> Not a bad one. thing. <laughs> That's Queen Casey, yeah, man. Well, the thing yeah. that I find is like, this This is four years. <laughs> right, I don't know right. how he did it in like six months. Or you'll find them. So, yeah. so, I like that you have toys, too. Sorry, I'm going to go back. Cause kinda, These yeah, actually like the weren't in here. I just... Street Sharks. I like those Street Sharks. Yeah, I honestly have literally, if you see something that you guys like, I have no interest in any of that stuff. Like, it's stuff I found at garage sales and I don't care about. So I got a question. So you got a lot of stuff and you garage sale, you value village. Yep. And you might not be able to narrow it down to one, yep. but what's like the one find that's like, 
you know, not the most expensive, but maybe the rarest or the coolest. You were like, wow. I already know what it is. Okay, there we go. Okay, there. <laughs> and it, it literally, it has, like, to most people, it's got zero value. Awesome. And it's yellow six. <laughs> It's the Evander Kane. Uh, oh, okay, very, okay, okay. There you go. There you go. The Evander. And I, I even kept the Grush. The sticker Evander right Kane. Yeah, oh my today. God. So, Best Buy that so, night. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. do you know about the? I didn't. Right. Yeah, I saw this at a garage sale. I yeah. saw the Jets logo. I bought it because it was two bucks. Yeah. yeah and uh, I got it home and I look and I'm like, okay, well, it's just the standard disc, right? I have the other one. Yeah. And uh, so I'm like, well, what's unique? So I tried finding some information. There's yeah. literally almost nothing so, about these. So yeah. So it was yeah. a Best Buy release, right? Yeah. So what happened was, um, at Best Buy. They had what, like five hundred like covers? Or I, whatever? I heard it was one hundred for was PS2, 100? 100 for Xbox. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, Vander came well when he was still here. Yeah. He was like it was the first year that they signed here, yeah. So yeah. Say hi to Kawhi. Yeah, man. <laughs> Jerk. So yeah, apparently the deal with these are I think you're right, so there was a hundred Xbox three sixty and a hundred PS three releases and they gave them to the first hundred people in line. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, I think it might have been Future Shop or whatever. It was Best Fire yeah. Future Shop. And uh, so there's only a hundred of these. So they're like, I mean, this is rarer than like NWC, technically, wow. but yeah. it's not all it is. is a, <laughs> all nobody it, wants it. <laughs> all it is is a slipcover. I mean, that's it. These, like, I love these uh, stained glass. Uh, like this those is, are um, casino. Yeah, yeah. Quarter horse bonanza. I found the Pac-Man one here in town. Some lady had it on the uh, Facebook. Marketplace. What is this from? Uh, it was uh, from what I could tell. I put some info oh, in the Canada mm-hmm. group, and they say it was from the tabletop bar arcades. Oh, okay. oh yeah. Uh, it was a display oh, that went oh, with yeah. it. Yeah. Um, it was. It's sweet. I just like it. I don't really know how to display it. That's the best I could come up with, but it's pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Can you so. talk about these Nintendo powers? This is all you have? <laughs> They're just random ones. I Actually, oh, hey, I got a story if you want to hear something funny. I have a friend who has a complete <laughs> okay, set so, of that. So, um, yeah, so these, found them at, a uh, few of these I found at uh, Mulvey. Yeah. Uh, Shane was selling them. Okay. So I'm like flipping through his stack and I'm like, he's asking like, yeah, five bucks a piece, price still on there. So I get to this one and then, that's mine mm-hmm. from a kid. Shut up! That's, oh that's my, my I'm blurring out this without so blurring out. No, it's okay. That's my dad. So I asked him, like, I, <laughs> well, I said, like, can I get a deal since this was mine? And he's like, yeah, I think he gave me, like, three bucks or something. That's awesome. But uh, that's there's awesome. A co- he had a couple of them from my childhood, that actually. Is uh, awesome. Man. That is the funnest. That is, yeah, that is that the, is the best, best story I've heard. Story. Yeah, no yeah, see, this one's actually under my name. <laughs> Shut up. Did he have a bunch of yours? Yeah, and so I, I realized what happened. I didn't <laughs> realize it at the time. time. That's sweet. Man. Is, this, is this functioning? It is. Yeah. You see it? Nice. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I just wanted to ask this question. I, it's like when I have like friends over for drinks or whatever, people love it because it's golden tea. As is. Okay. So, so while we're on Xbox, it looks like another focus of yours is Xbox? No, I just find them cheap. Like, yeah? Okay. There's, there's like, <laughs> like all of these ones, like with these little weird stickers, like a lot of them, I got it like American pawn shops for like a box. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I recognize these stickers. Yeah, that's, uh, I think it's called, uh, it's the one at Grand Forks. They yeah. have one in Fargo too, North America, Great American Pawn or some of that. It's still booed it's up. Terrible. Yeah, I just had it working. This one, I might ask you, you if you can. can. What, like what? It's Windows, Windows 95. 98. 98. 98. Uh, got it two weeks ago. I was in Saskatchewan visiting some family and my uh, my great aunt had it in her basement and she was getting rid of stuff and I said, you know, does it work? She said, yeah. It's so booted everything up. works? CD-ROM and everything? Yep. I'd it, be it, it booted train up. command and conquer, man, if I still yeah. had my computer going. This thing booted up faster than my modern, like my modern. <laughs> <laughs> like it was, it was up in like 30 seconds yeah. and I loaded uh, Sim, Sim Farm and Carmen San Diego in like a minute. Yeah. Like look it's much, so fast. Okay, awesome. look how much desk space these took up back in the day. I just got this desk. And that's actually a pretty small one too. Yeah, small yeah man. Yeah. Screen, but See, the kids don't know. Yeah. <laughs> the struggle. You have such a, yeah. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. This more. goes on top of here. Then yeah. look yeah, at yeah, that yeah, right, right. That goes on top of here. I was going to put it up. I opened it. I was going to put it up there originally, but I'm like, I got so much desk space. I'll just put it down. <laughs> yeah. So, um, Correct. See? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's the only awesome. thing is, I thought when I bought the desk that it fit the keyboard, but it doesn't. Whatever. It's Still, right. that's dope. Yeah, the only thing is, I don't have a plug here, so when I want to play it, I have to drag the extension cord over there. <laughs> so, but. And look at this. Here's uh, Lester's favorite things in the world. Yeah, if there's one you need there, then look. Because honestly, no, I, I, I have those. <laughs> oh, you already <laughs> have them already? Yeah, He's like, I have them already. Yeah, I them all. <laughs> <laughs> um, Again, cheap, right? I, I like the boomboxes. Those, are sweet. those yeah, took, honestly, cool. like this one, I bought, I saw it at Value Village, I hooked it up, it tape deck worked, took it home, it didn't work. What? Oh. I, it was the weirdest thing, I couldn't yeah. believe it. I was like, thought I was I was going crazy. This one actually does work, and I have a nice big one in there, but it doesn't work. Oh, okay. So, if you guys know how to fix them, you're welcome to take them. <laughs> no, no. Honestly, like, a lot <laughs> of the stuff I find for so cheap, and I don't care, like it just, it, it's That's cool, the name but, of the game, right? But I it's like, if I can help other people who want <laughs> stuff, take it. I don't care, like I it's not like... I might hit you over that. Oh, this phone's I got this from yeah. Rick at the flea market, actually. Yeah. Because yeah. nice. yeah. I, I saw it there. I'm like, I love Garfield. Yeah. yeah. No, I know. We, Open I it up. This is Ian underneath. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Garfield phone. I have every Lord of the Rings game. 
Uh, except the the uh, collectors. Yeah. Different. Okay. Let's go to this wall real quick. Lord of the Rings. You're a fan. I'm a huge fan. Yeah. It's my favorite. I don't know. I have that Series? Lord of the Rings tape. Look at all those Lord of the Rings up there. I it's, have this guy. These weren't the best dance for them. I should probably find something. Better. What do you I've think? Never about seen this? this one though. The cartoon. This one. It it, it was cool. I, mean, I liked it. I really yeah. liked this. I thought I mean, it was great. I was waiting years. Did you, for the what did you think one, of the uh, like the digitized actors though? Like there was it was a, great. It was but yeah, it was yeah. like I was reading up on it. It's, it's like one of the rare movies that used it. Like, yeah, where it's like they're cartoon drawings, but have yeah. I thought it was so them. unique. Right? It was cool. I got, I gotta give it credit. This is cool because this is the pre. Well, both of these are like the pre Peter Jackson. Yeah. Lord of the Rings stuff so like I just you know this is a puzzle but it's, it's worth almost it's not worth anything but I just love the art on it like it's yeah. it's you know, yeah, you well, like you could see how like Peter Jackson really changed how the characters looked yeah mm -hmm. it's an audio it's book on tape for The Hobbit oh okay um, the voice is hilarious too oh yeah I've actually listened to it I love audio do they do tapes. different voices for different each character or is it just the same no it's the same guy he's just reading the book yeah. But he's got that, that classic British sort of accent. Yeah. Oh, okay. The best one I find was... Uh, I love the Star Trek ones. Oh, yeah. And there's one, a Star Trek episode read by George Takei. Oh. <laughs> so it's George Takei doing the accents and the, the, the voices doing, yeah. of like, Hello, Captain. Like, yeah. him and Spock. It's so strange. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, there's a room in here. I kind of want to see this room. Go ahead. Well, you went in here <laughs> no, I want you to show me the room. <laughs> <You're going laughs> Tell me what's up in here. <laughs> okay, this is like wall to wall. Ceiling to floor. It got bad. I have more in the garage. So you have to stay tuned for part two where we check out his board game room. This was a very pleasant surprise because I'm friends with Matthew on Facebook and he kind of shares his game room, but he never shared this other passion that he has. Floor to ceiling, wall to wall board games. It was really kind of cool to see somebody who's kind of just dabbling, dipping his toe into that world. So stay tuned for part two of this video. Sorry, we haven't been really putting out a lot of content. That's my fault. Summer's been kind of just getting away from me with the family and all that. So hopefully you're having a great summer. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to. I'm really tired of asking people to do that. So subscribe to the channel if you feel inclined and give it a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it, but no pressure. No pressure. This is Nate from Thrift Dollar Peace. Take care of yourselves and each other.